What's up y'all, it's Phil, and I thought I would drop in for just a second and give you a quick channel update for what has been going on around these parts. If you've been following along watching my built-in series, you've noticed that I kind of stopped around like April, um, and it's now the end of summer, it's September. I've had a lot of things happen, I'm gonna tell you about them all right now. So it has been an interesting summer. I went from having way too much work to do to having a crew of two guys. The downside is I apparently trained my handyman guy a little too well because he moved on to another company that does actual handyman work. They offered benefits, which I don't, and I can't. So that's kind of the sucky side of small business right now is I can't offer the golden handcuffs that a lot of other businesses can, and so I tend to lose people to that. Something I hope to change in the future, but we'll see. Also, my second carpenter just left. Uh, he went on to go do some of his own things. Same story, he wanted to make a little bit more money, which I just wasn't able to provide right now. I wish them both the best of luck, but it puts me in an odd spot. The pandemic finally caught up to me in the form of lumber prices, and the freeze from last February has completely destroyed the paint supply. I finally zeroed in on a paint that I could actually use reliably and not have to worry about possibly going back and changing things or fixing things or something not drying right. And they no longer produce it because they can't. Um, I can't get my primer, I can't get my paint, and I've already switched paint two or three times and Sherwin-Williams is constantly out of the paint that I need. So that's causing a little bit of a headache, um, but it's not as bad as the lumber prices. Lumber in my area went up almost 300% over the course of the pandemic. The only problem that I had is that I'm doing projects now that I quoted pre-pandemic or the beginning of the pandemic. So now, a year and a half into this garbage, it's still going up. My prices didn't change, and I'm not going to go back and ask people for more money when they've been waiting six months already. It's a choice that I made for my business, which at the time seemed really good, um, but I'm in a pinch now where lumber prices went up, but my price did not. And so I'm getting to that point of like, uh, I'm, I'm just scraping by on some of these projects. But I chose to do that to have good customer service and to be a good business. The good news is I also started quoting higher project prices because I'm worth it and I need to make more. And I had a crew of two people. Lumber prices are now just starting to tip back down. We'll see if they ever do. I, I, Doubt they will, but that's a whole other rant for another time. Um, but as the lumber prices start to dip back down, I'm going to be doing projects where I've raised my prices up. So better times are coming, they're just tight right now. Which is why I wasn't able to pay my guys more. I was paying my guys well, I do want to say that, and I intend to always do that. However, both of them were up for that point of me being like, all right, you've been here a while, let's pay you more, and I can't. That stinks for me, but it is what happens. In other news, you can see that my background has changed and so has my audio. I'm trying to figure out the audio thing, but for now, the reason being is that I am in my new shop. I've got an update video coming on that soon, um, but the long and short of it is I started renting a building from a friend of mine. Um, it's a 30 by 40 shop space, which is great. It has poured concrete floors. It is not insulated, which kind of sucked all summer, but spring and fall is awesome, and during the winter, I've got a wood-burning stove that you just keep burning wood in it, it just keeps making heat. So I'm not afraid for those three seasons, it's next summer that's gonna suck. So maybe we'll get it insulated, but this week I'm starting on building out a dual purpose room over here. It's going to be a paint booth and a finish room, similar to what I have, but slightly bigger than what I have in my barn. I've got a lot of big plans for this shop as well as a bunch of DIYs and I'm trying to kind of revamp my channel. But a lot of that takes a lot of time. So I am taking a break from YouTube currently to get this shop set up properly. I'm also under a little bit of a time crunch because I bought a house. It is super exciting, but I'm going from a big sprawling farm where I can do whatever I want and pee wherever I want and just hang out and make a mess to now having a much larger shop on a slightly nicer property right at the front of the property um, and I'm renting from a friend. So I can't just do what I want. I have to rein myself in a bit. I've got a paint clean out station that I'm setting up up front. I'm putting up walls and stuff so that they don't have to see it. I've got the other stuff going on in here and I'm gonna build out in here as I go but I have to keep everything out there kind of clean. It is beautiful. It's right next to a creek um, so I get to enjoy the sound of the water and occasionally go jump in the water when it gets hot. 
and I've got a lot of room to do a lot of stuff, I just haven't decided what's gonna go where yet. So I am under some pretty extreme constraints to get my old shop cleaned out and cleared out, move stuff over here, and have this ready to go so that I don't see an interruption in my workflow. And I'm getting all of the supplies and materials back from my other carpenter. I'm finishing up three projects right now on my own, um, which is not ideal. All in the midst of trying to get YouTube stuff filmed. So forgive me for the time that I've not been around, but I am taking a short break, other than this update. So there's a lot. There's a lot going on. There's a lot that I am doing, and I am doing it in the midst of everything else that's going on with normal life, three kids, buying a house, and all that jazz. I was also planning on finishing building my trailer, but now that I'm gonna be on my own again, I don't think I'm gonna hire anyone else anytime soon. It's been nice having an assistant around and it does speed me up, but I don't want to be Walmart. I don't want to be doing six projects at a time, juggling all the stuff, juggling all the people, paying for everything, and then in the end, didn't really make much more money than I would have if I just did it myself and took my time. So my plan, don't know if this is gonna be permanent, but my plan for now is to focus on this shop, get this shop ready, do more of my building here at the shop. Eventually, I wanna get back to working on the trailer, get it outfitted, but now I know that the setup I have won't work for me long term. So I'm gonna change the setup a little bit, I'm gonna build new cabinets and stuff once the price of plywood finally starts to go down. Uh, and then I'm going to be able to use this for my deliveries and installations. And hopefully I can keep it nice looking, but we'll see. Other than that, I am going back to being a one-man show. It's going to be me and one or both of my dogs every day for the time being. Um, I've got a lot to figure out. I've got a whole lot on the financial and business side to do. And I've got even more because I am actually currently booked out through February of 2022. So the work is there. Uh, it's just the workforce is not. And I would prefer to go back to being by myself. I kind of already wanted that, but I wanted to also have my guys and take care of my guys. And then they both decided to move on. So problem solved for me. This whole situation reminds me of Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. That honestly couldn't be more true, and we have built this whole business literally just walking in faith. We have a really long story that I've never told on YouTube, but the way that we got the business started and got up here and got things going, it's all been just really truly walking by faith. And whenever I start to get really worried, I think about that verse. It doesn't mean just throw caution to the wind because that would be stupid, but it does mean not to be stressed, not to be worried, and that's one of the things that I use when I'm just working through something. Just like now, I've got all these projects, I've got all this stuff happening, I just have to go, just have to keep hitting each thing, one thing at a time until they're done, wake up and do it all again tomorrow. And if I worry about what I have to do then, I'm not gonna get anything done now. So that is my current shop update. I've actually got to get going today because I've got way too much to do and my clients are literally texting me as I'm filming this. There's a lot of stuff coming up here in the near future on this channel. I've ended season one of my built-in series and I will be starting season two. I'm gonna change up some of the editing and things like that just to make it a little more interesting, but also I don't have time to be recording myself and editing doing these projects. Plus I wanna focus on doing some more DIYs and answering some questions for y'all. I know there's a lot of people out there watching this stuff who want to learn some basic things, want to see some processes. So I'm going to try and do my best to kind of create some beginner's content with a little more intermediate level stuff so that y'all can really start to learn the things that you want to learn. Along with that, I've still got all these projects that I'm doing, so I'll be editing and uploading some of built-in season two in the near future. But with that being said, thanks for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, please click the button below because I know you want to see this awesome content that I've got coming. If you are a subscriber, seriously, thank you for watching. It is one of the things that keeps me going and keeps me doing this is knowing that there are actually people who like to watch these videos, who comment, who subscribe, who ask me questions that I can answer, which is a lot of fun. Find me on Instagram if you have any of those questions. I am at PMK Woodworking on all social medias. I love answering questions and I love seeing your projects. So thanks again for watching y'all and we'll see you in the near future. Bye.